encourage you to read about God's army in the Bible. In the last days, God, now in these days where we're living, God is gathering His elect. The group that is going to go through this tribulation that is so great. The number of these people is 144,000 men and I believe it could be women. Uh, they, they are going to be gathered among the earth and this group of people are going to go through, through, through the tribulation. This group of people, you could read what I'm talking about in the book of Revelation 14. Let me read a little bit to talk, to show you the scene that are that is just to show you to give you a view of what I'm talking about. Revelation 14 1 it says, and I look second about the apostle Paul. And I looked and lo a land stood on the Mount Zion and with him in 144,000 having his father's name written in their forehead. You see, God is telling us right there that in his city, Zion, that is in Jerusalem, they already were victorious, this group of people who are going to go through the tribulation. You could read the whole chapter there. 14 and it will tell you what I'm talking about. It explains who they are and, and God has chosen them and these people are going to go to the tribulation and they will have a new song. It's the song of the song of the Lamb and no one could sing the song, only the ones who went through the tribulation. This group of people are going to go. They are the elect of God on this earth because is God is gathering this group of people this group of people they keep the tenth commandments of God and they have the testimony of Christ in their seal is the Sabbath day of the Lord they're gonna be put to the test it's gonna be worldwide this group of people are gonna be telling people the truth and they're gonna bring many people to God many if you read your Bible it, it tells you in the book of Revelations that they were read they were a thousand one a hundred forty four thousand and then a multitude follow them that means that all these people that were saved and then there's the forty four thousand who are that the ones who are gonna go through this among the earth. Imagine that's a very small number. And I believe that number is going to come out, out of God's, God's church worldwide. It's a very small number. You know, and many of the people who will not be able to go through this time of trouble, they'll be so great. God is going to call them to rest. So some of, some of the people, they are alive now. They for some reason they're getting sick or they are being sick and they eventually they'll die you shouldn't be praying for just pray that their soul rest in God because I believe pretty soon many of the people will, God will put them to rest because he knows they cannot handle what is coming and they'll be safe and many children will go they're gonna start going God is gonna call them to rest I believe that's going to happen soon. So what, what is coming is going to be so great that only this group that God has chosen, that is a 144,000 elect people within the earth, are going to go through this and they're going to have a new song of victory to the land. And only them will know what song it is. And God is going to use this army of people and they're gonna they're gonna spread the good news and they're gonna tell them the Lord is coming 
give glory to him who, cre who created the heavens and the earth. Worship him only who made the springs of water. He's the only one you should worship. The Lord is coming. His judgment is at hand. Repent. Oh, repent. Deny yourself. Forget this wicked life. This evil life that only brings sorrow and misery. There's nothing good in this earth. That all of men is fear God and keep his commandments. Solomon said that. We have to come to Christ. Humble ourselves. Pray like you never have prayed before. Humble yourself. Confess every sin. Every sin you have made throughout your life. Confess it. And don't come don't fall back to that sin. Every time you feel like you're gonna fall back to a sin like that, that you committed, or you are about to do it again, pray to God at that moment. He's gonna deliver you. Because if you think you could do it yourself, you're going to fall again and again. But whoever stands firm to the very end, that will be saved. That will take your whole life of getting purified. And then we're going to go through the fire. If that means persecution, many of us are going to be put in jails. Many of us are going to be in desolated areas. We're going to gather in groups. There'll be small pockets of resistance for, to this new world order everywhere who are going to worship God and keep His commandments, suffering persecution through all over the planet. We got to stand firm for God, keep His Ten Commandments, and that also includes the Sabbath, the rest that God gives to all of us, because many false teachers out there are deceiving thousands and hundreds and millions of people saying that the Sabbath is not important. The Sabbath is very important and God is sealing His people right now. He is sealing His people and when the sealing process ends, the fourth winds, the four angels who are holding the winds of strife that the Bible of Revelation says are going to be let loose and then tribulation will happen. It will be a massive, terrible time. So we have to come to Christ, pray, and, leave a, and say, God, please forgive me if I have committed a sin whether in, in, in my mind or in words or in deeds. Please cleanse me, Lord. And I ask you to give me your Holy Spirit get rid of all, ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to take away all evil from you and around your house. Try to walk with God every day and ask it, ask everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us. Ask for the merit of the blood of Christ that can cleanse us from all these sinful things that we do. We gotta walk with God more than ever now. The Lord is coming and He's waking His people up. Do not believe all those false things that people are saying out there. Especially that the Lord is not is no longer needed. But I just wanna tell you guys there are only ten commandments. The Bible says that the, the saints who have endurance. <clears throat> it says that the, here is the patience of the saints, the saints who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Christ. Those are the ones who the, didn't worship the beast in his image. When it talks the beach, beast, it means the, the Antichrist movement that is the Pope. And the image are all those religions who are working with him and deceiving everybody. Just prepare, my brethren. God is at the door. He's waking up his army. God is waking up his people. They will stand to the very end. Take care and may the Lord bless you out there.